Hi everyone, we're going to simplify these two rational expressions and um, here they are. This is uh, two that we're going to do. So we're going to get started. The first thing you're going to notice is that we can factor out a 2 here and uh, the numerator and also the denominator has the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is called a perfect square trinomial. Since it has that, I can look at my a, my b, and that's going to be 5 squared, and my um, a, which is x. So it follows that form, and I know that's going to be equal to um, x plus 5 squared, because this is a plus b squared. All right, so let's write it out. 2 times x plus 5. So this is a perfect square trinomial. We can write this as x plus 5 squared, which is x plus 5 times x plus 5, because there's two of them. Anyway, this cancels, and so our final answer is 2 over x plus 5. All right, the next one is this one. This is also a perfect square trinomial. It means I can write this as x squared over, um, this is going to be x plus 1, because x is your a and 1 is your b. And that's 2 times 1, so squared. Now I'm going to switch this to a times and flip these two. Now this one is a difference of squares, so that's just going to be x minus 1 times x plus 1, then I have 3x. So basically what we have is, I'm going to go ahead and write my x's out to 2x's here, then we have x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 1 over 3x. So this is all times, so this can all be put on one line. The x's cancel here. My x plus 1's cancel here. So we're left with x times x minus 1 over 3 times x plus 1. And if you want to clean that up, that would be x squared minus 1. Nope, that would be x squared plus x. Sorry about that, and 3x plus 3. So either one, both of these are correct. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.